Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of MATLAB and Simulink tutorial. Today we will study how to implement a sliding mode controller in Simulink. For this example we will use the system of compound pendulum whose state space model is given. Now for sliding mode controller, first of all we will define the error dynamics and then we will define the sliding surface. Now for implementation purpose we will move to Simulink. Now from last example we already have a model of compound pendulum in Simulink. Now we will add a sliding mode controller to it. And for this we will add relevant blocks from the library. First of all we will add a block of desired position. After desired position we will define the error dynamics. For this we will use a sum block and a block of derivative for E2. And then to define the sliding surface, we will use the block of sum and gain. Our sliding surface is implemented. Now we will implement the controller implementation and we'll start with the gamma part, where gamma is equal to beta times saturation of surface. Now we will add a saturation block and we'll arrange them accordingly. We will also change the desired position to the value of 2 pi over 3 which is almost equal to 2.09 or 2.1. Now we will add the other parts of equation and will arrange the blocks according to the equation. Here you will also note that j times 1 over j will cancel out its effect. Here you can also skip this step. Now our simulation is ready. Press the green button and observe the output. We will observe that our compound pendulum is stabilized at a position of 2.09. Now if you want to analyze the surface, we will add another scope or we will make a copy of the old one and will connect it to the output of the surface. Again run the simulation, observe the response of surface, you will observe that the surface is settled to 0 and the pendulum is stabilized at a position of 2.09. Thanks for watching the video, this was all about today and stay connected for more updates.